Let's take a look at the offset parent matrix option that is now available in Advanced Colton. If we open the tool, we go into that preparation section and again in the subsection called rig, we can see uh, there's a few options here. One of them is offset parent matrix. If we click on the help image, there's some information here that just uh, outlines what is offset parent matrix and some of its requirement. Basically, offset parent matrix is a new attribute that's available since Maya 2020 and allows you to plug matrix values into a transform and not just transformation values. Now, it's a great function that has some pros and cons. Oh, the pros are that it can work much more efficiently and basically give you a, a faster performing rigs, higher frame rates and less nodes in the scene. Some of the cons is compatibility. For example, it will not be able to work in any Maya versions prior to 2020. Also, there is compatibility issues. If you wanted to export rigs to an external application, such as game engine, and we can see that here if we try to make a game engine project by turning on the game engine option, as soon as we turn on offset parent metrics, it has turned off and disabled the game engine and several other options. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at a rig that is built with this. So we'll make sure that option is on. Go ahead, import a standard fit skeleton and build it. And there we go, we got a standard human build with the offset parent metrics options. Now just to test playback speed, we can we can do a quick speed test here. Let's first test without offset parent metrics. So we'll turn that off. Hit rebuild. We now get this same rig, but built in the standard way, not using the offset parent metrics. Let's see how many frames per second we would get with some animation on a traditional rig here. And a quick way to get some animation onto this is we'll just use the motion capture library. Pick one of these clips, let's say rebound, hit apply, and we'll hit bake animation. So now we actually have, as we can see here, we got keys on every controller and we can now hit play and turn on the frames per second heads up display to see what kind of performance we're getting and obviously we'll have to turn that on to allow for faster than real time so we'll say we'll play every frame freely and let's hit play now that's playing back at around 150 frames per second now this is obviously faster than what you would need. So to turn on offset parent metrics and even further make this even faster might not seem to make sense at first because 150 frames a second is enough. But this running at 150 seconds here is before it's bound to geometry. Whereas you might be working in a situation where you have multiple characters and they're all skin bound. And that's when you'll start seeing frame rate might start dropping down below real time and you want to get it back up to real time, that's where offset parametrics option might come in real handy. So we're doing a comparison here. We're getting 150 frames per second here with the standard built rig. Now, what we're going to do, we can just keep the animation and everything because at the first frame is the build pose. So we'll just go to the first frame, turn on offset parametrix and hit rebuild. And we'll now get a offset parent matrix version of the same rig with the animation already there. So then we just got to hit play and we can see that's a huge difference. This is running around 300, actually 300 plus. So from 150 to 300 plus, we're looking at oh, that's doubling the performance, actually twice, twice as fast. That's playing back. Okay, that's it for this video about the offset parent matrix option. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.